There's good news and there's bad news. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! Bring your ugly free-riding face into my car very fast, my friend. Sure. Fine. I am really hoping that Roman realizes you are a freeloading shithole, so I don't have to drive you again. Hey. Yeah. What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is everything's coming together. Bad news ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Back, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Wait for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you. Gracie. Watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with low lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I got you a fucking user! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I'm a fucker!
Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle, we walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Cancha is... What you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Nico, we got the fucks. This guy's above us. Get him, Nico. Down! 
gotta be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way! If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here, and you take them! I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later! I don't nobody having them! Screw all of you! Lleva no isto! You selfish piece of cock-sucking shit! Spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Jesus Christ, why did that moron have to throw the ice away? It was just plain selfish. There's always one who ruins it for everybody else in the class. You're telling me. We would have let him live. He could have walked away from there. Instead, he's fucked, and the diamonds are who knows where. A lot of people are going to be upset about that. My brother Gerald is going to be one of them people. There ain't much that can cheer him up now that he thinks he's doing serious time, but this is really going to piss him off. It's going to be a nice thing to mull over. You know, while he's staring at them metal bars for the next decade or so. A guy like Jerry can still do stuff in the joint. He organized this kidnapping shit, didn't he? Can't be the only card he's got to play. Fuck, he wasn't too chipper the last time I spoke to him, and he's gonna be a long way from chipper when I tell him what went down. If I can get what went on straight in my head in the first place, that is. Okay, so we exchanged Gracie for some diamonds that Ray used to have. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation. But that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian is called Ray Bulgarin. I worked for him on the Adriatic. He thought I stole from him and he came after me. I had to leave Europe because of him. And they were his diamonds? I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes me smile about this shit is that Bulgarin does not have the ice. Piece of shit does not even stay at the fight to see the outcome. Just leaves his boys to clear up. We was outnumbered, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach him his lesson by putting a bullet to the back of his head. You're not meant to say what you wish for out loud. It won't come true if you do. That rule even works for wishes as cheerful as yours.
hell, Nico? That was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Pecky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. <laughs>